Well hi guys, today's task is to fit this motor plate so that it can fit the motor bracket to that which will then take the uh, Turnergy I've got a 3542 1450 motor which um, with 4S and a 10x6 prop will push your baby along pretty good so what we've got is we've got, a, we've got the masking tape down and there's a line representing the the same position of the spar and then from there we've got a line 7 millimeters back and then this rectangular section which is 52 millimeters wide and obviously that's in the center of the center line so the plan is really is to just cut that out and then um, I'll show you the next stage so what I'll do is I'll just cut that out and um, I'll fast forward it the trick is is to be nice and um, try and try and get it nice and straight um, so here we go Hey. All right, good. So that works a treat. It's the first time I've used a hammer on an airplane. So the next stage, well, let, let's just uh, put that in there. That will sit about there. So it'll sit underneath the top of the wing. It won't go there. It'll go about there. And it will sit on this plate, which we will then bed in to the, uh, to the wing. Okay, so let's take off this. Is that and what I'll do is I'll just re reset the camera uh, so that you can get a good view of what we're doing. Oh, hi there again. So, what I've got here is I've got um, the wing with. Um, some mar masking tape in the um, section that we've just cut out and I've marked a line this line here which is eight millimeters from the bottom of this surface and um, if you use that as a guide then you should get a pretty decent thrust line and um, well that's what I've always used and it's been pretty good so the plan is is to then cut that out there so that the plate can then slide up through there and then we can epoxy that in so what I'll do is I'll do the first bit and then um, show you where how to, the technique I use so basically as we've lined it we just Cut through. Need my other knife for this. And we can start putting the plate in. Start offering it in. You see. Once we've got it like sticking out a bit like that, what we can do is we can then um, use the knife blade to run down like that to cut it out. So I'll just reset again and then show you that part.
Okay. We can use our knife sitting on the top of the plate as a sort of guide. And that's about it. That'll do perfectly. <laughs>